Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn hexadecimal to octal conversion. Let's take first problem. Suppose if I want to convert 2C to the base 16 to the question mark to the base 8. Here base 16 means it is hexadecimal number. We need to convert it into octal number. So one should know how many total digits are there in hexadecimal number. So hexadecimal number start from 0 goes up to 9 and from 9 we get a b c d e and f where a is 10 of decimal b is 11 and so on f is 15 now if i want to write code of 15 then using 8421 i can write binary equivalent of 15 so binary equivalent of 15 will become 1 1 1 1 so if you will see carefully to indicate single hexadecimal number we require total four binary numbers same thing goes with octal number system let's check how many octal digits are there octal digits are from 0 1 up to 7 so largest possible octal digit is 7 so for this 7 we can write code in binary as 4 2 1 so 4 plus 2 is 6 6 plus 1 is 7 so code of 7 of octal is equal to 1 1 1 of binary so we can see here to indicate largest possible number of octal we need three binary numbers okay so what we will do first we will convert hexadecimal number to binary and from binary to octal so let's see how to do it so what we have is 2 c to the base 16 now for 2 we will write code using 8 4 2 1 okay so for 2 only 2 is required so we will make all other numbers 0 so this is binary equivalent of hexadecimal 2 now for c we will write code using 8 4 2 1 now we just saw that a is 10 b is 11 and c is 12 so we need to find code for 12 so 8 plus 4 is 12 so no need to write any value for 2 and any value for 1 so binary equivalent of c is equal to 1100 so here we got number in binary but we want final number in octal so what we will do in next step we will make group of 3 3 octal digits because largest possible octal digit can be shown using 3 binary numbers so first group will become 100 Second group will have 1, 0, 1, and last group has only two zeros. Now, in order to complete group of three digits, we can add one more zero towards the left. This zero has no significance. So, if I will write this code using 4, 2, 1, using 4, 2, 1, using 4, 2, 1, then this value will become 0, 4 plus 1 is 5, and 4 is 4 only so this value is 54 or 54 to the base 8 okay let's take one more problem to understand it more clearly suppose if i want to convert e 9 b 2 of hexadecimal to octal so what we will do we will start with e 9 b 2 of hexadecimal now for E, we will write code using 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay. So, E is 14. So, for 14, 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 plus 2 is 14 and 1 is not required. Now, we will write code for 9 using 8, 4, 2, 1. So, 9 is 8 plus 1 is 9. Then, we will write code for B. Now, A is 10 and B is 11. So, for 11, we will write code using 8 4 2 1 8 plus 2 is 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11 now finally for this 2 we will write code using 8 4 2 1 so only 2 is required 8 4 and 1 are not required so we have successfully converted this hexadecimal number e 9 b 2 to binary number now in order to convert it into octal we will make group of 3 3 digits so first group from left to right will become 0, 1, 0. 
second group will be of 1 1 0 third group will be of 1 1 0 fourth group will be of 1 0 0 fifth group is 1 1 0 and for last group we have only 1 now in order to make group of 3 digits we will add 2 more zeros over here now using 4 to 1 rule we can write value of every group 4 to 1 4 to 1 4 to 1 now let's write value of this group so this group is 1 this group is 4 plus 2 6 this group is 4 this group is 6 this group is 6 this group is 2 so our final answer is 164662 to the base 8 so here we successfully converted given hexadecimal number into octal now here are two practice problem solve these problems in your book and type your answer in comments thank you